Okay, it's almost time. If you would, please take cover over there and wait for your cue. Understood. Well, well. It's good to see you again, Ms. President. Or should I say, Ms. Former President. With Rin performing just across the way, I take it you two are in on this together? I wouldn't be surprised if you're the one who sent her after me, since you seem to be such good friends now. Oh no, nothing of the sort. Rin didn't trust me either at first. Oh, I see. At any rate, I'm certain you have a mountain of work waiting for you, so I'll get right to the point. I want you to sever your ties with the organization. Bringing Synthesters into the business arena is... Well, nothing short of reckless endangerment, to put it kindly. So, that's your angle, then. I'll be sure to take your recommendation under serious advisement. Though it's unlikely anyone will give it any real consideration. You are, after all, no longer the CEO of our company. You're not associated with us at all anymore, in fact. And I don't recall us ever taking advice on company policy from the general public before. I suppose not. Well, if I'm nothing more than a member of the general public in your eyes now, why not simply let me live my life in peace? Hmm. If we do that, what guarantee do we have that you won't go spreading baseless rumors about us? Hmm? As soon as this little show is over, I'd like you and Rin to come with me. Oh? Kidnapping and confinement are both rather serious crimes, you know. It'd be completely voluntary, I assure you. And you have my personal guarantee that you'll be treated with all due respect. Though, if you happen to decline, I will have to give my associates a chance to persuade you. <laughs> so, you're asking nicely, but we either go quietly or kicking and screaming. We always used to say you didn't have the spine to be a director. But it seems you've grown one after all. Hmm. All right, then. Take this woman to the location we discussed. Yes, sir. Stay your hands, knaves. Ms. Kasugai is under our protection. Prepare to be freedomized by the Akiba Freedom Fighters! So, you brought backup after all. Well, no matter. Take them all down! Let's go! Give me that! Come on, 
To violence. Just as I thought. You can't possibly have any say in all this shady business. Too much heavy lifting for a lackey like you. Sh shady? What nerve! I'll have you know the synthesis somatic cells display properties that could be used to treat otherwise incurable illnesses and, um, well, suffice it to say, my research could save countless lives. Furthering medical science is a valiant goal indeed. But you never truly cared about that, did you? You only wanted fame and fortune, no matter what you had to do to achieve it. You were studying them too? Are you going to stand there and tell me you weren't planning on profiting from them yourself? I'll tell you more than that. I only studied them because I wanted to know more about them. Pure intellectual curiosity. And I would never, ever sacrifice other people to satisfy that curiosity. That's unconscionable. Besides which, I'm a member of the Akiba Freedom Fighters now. My first priority is to protect this town. Research comes later. Damn it, this isn't over! You haven't won, you hear me? I've, I've still got the organization behind me 100%! Behind you? Oh dear. I certainly hope you weren't counting on that. Soga! <laughs> Mr. Kagatsuki, sir! Please, I beg of you, save me! You're a disgrace. Get your filthy hands off of me. <laughs> I no longer have any use for the likes of you. Oh, wait! No! <laughs> Think of all the funding we've provided! We, we gave you your base of operations! And we proposed the plan to give the synthesis performance enhancers! Well, I proposed that plan! Me! And what has it achieved? What did I instruct you to do? You had one job. To remove our only obstacles. And you failed. <sighs> the final preparations have been completed. 
Let's be gone. Get out of my sight. <sighs> okay, now you listen here. Why are you causing problems for Akiba? And why did you create the Synthesters? Spill it. The Synthesters are merely the groundwork for a much larger plan. My ultimate goal is the town itself. I intend to turn Akiba into a perfect dark utopia. The hell does that mean? I've been using the Synthesters all this time to gather life energy. So I can create that dark utopia and turn Akihabara itself into a machine that gathers even more. Once I've done that, I'll be able to gather life energy from all over Japan. Nay, from all over the world. And then the Night Eaters will finally take their rightful place. Our people will rise from the brink of extinction to the heights of glory. All right, stop with the high and mighty crap. You have no right to do any of this. Bark at me or sing my praises, it no longer matters. The plan has already been set in motion. The excessive greed, the stagnation of modernity. These have already begun draining from the hearts of each and every man, woman, and child in the area. What do you suppose that means for one like him, who dwells on the boundary between Synthester and Night Eater? His very existence destabilized. His strength will fade and flee. Hey, are you all right? I'm impressed he lasted as long as he did, to be frank. Come on! This is no time to be messing around! Get up, damn it! Are you okay? Please tell me you're okay! Pull yourself together! He can barely even speak. He is hardly a threat to my dark utopia now. I bid you adieu. May we never meet again. He's gone? All we wanted to do was lure out Sakaguchi. Now here we are with more than we bargained for. Yeah, but a dark utopia? The hell is wrong with that dude? Can you walk? I suggest we fall back to Mogra. Would you lend him a shoulder as well, Toko? Sure. Here. Can you stand? There we go. <clears throat> nice and easy. That's it. Now don't you worry. We'll... We'll get you feeling better in no time. His fever, it's still not breaking. So much for standard medicine. What could have brought this on? If his condition was deteriorating this much, why didn't he say anything about it? <laughs> Brother, hang in there. This is terrible. His pep was his only redeeming feature. It'll be okay. He'll get better soon. I know he will. <laughs> You were just pushing yourself too hard. Wasn't just him. We all kept on pushing him. Put all our faith in him like he was some kind of RPG hero or something. Expected the world of the poor boy. Synthester, Night Eater, whatever he is now. At some point we all forgot he's just a regular high school kid too. What he is is an idiot. A colossal freaking idiot. Letting himself get Beat down like a lowly minion. <sighs> S something terrible is happening! People are collapsing one after the other all around Akihabara Station! Wait, what? I don't know the reason. People are just falling down when they get near the station. Even the police officers investigating are affected. Confirmed. Pitter is lighting up with reports of it. It's all anyone's talking about right now. 
You don't think. Soga's dark utopia. That crazy plan of his is actually happening? The people who've collapsed are being drained of their life energy. But why Akihabara Station? There's nothing particularly notable about that area. If only we knew where their hideout was, we could bust in there and beat some sense into that jackass. Their hideout, of course. That could be it. That could be the place. You figured out where they're hiding? When we were studying the pattern of attacks before, I thought it seemed like the circle was a little off-center from Akihabara Station. So where the hell is it already? Just southwest of there. The construction site for the new Radio Kaikon building. <sighs> the Radio Kaikon building? But how do you... Now that you mention it, the building's all tarped up and there aren't a lot of people who've seen what's inside. Worth a look, that's for sure. I can feel it too. I can feel the radio waves cutting through me. I'll go. This needs to be looked into right away. I'm going too. I'd like to accompany you as well. Don't forget me! No, I have to go without you. If what people are saying is true, ordinary humans can't get anywhere near the station, remember? That's why it's just gonna be me and Sis. You got that? Rin, I want you to keep watch here. We have no idea what's going to happen from here on out. If worse comes to worst, I need you safe so you can help put things back in order. But, but... Sis, listen. You're not going out there without any backup. Broke down. You shouldn't be up. Come on, what do you think you're doing? There are like newborn deer that walk better than you can right now. I can't take you with me. There's no way you can fight in your condition. Oh, for the love of... Yes. Yes, it does. It absolutely matters what happens to you. Every single one of us is worried about you. Shouldn't that count for something? <sighs> Mind over matter. Will over body. You are prepared for what awaits us out there, aren't you? <sighs> Brother. All right. Let's do it then. Let's put an end to this once and for all while you're still able to move. Wh what the? Uh, look out! Ah! Is this it? Is this the nest of the rats who oppose Lord Kagetsuki? Synthesters. Damn it! In here? Kati, take the sister and hide in the back room. Oh, okay. Please, stay calm and come with me! What are you standing around for? If you're going, go already! We'll handle the fighting. You and Shizuru need to get to the Radio Kaikon site on the double! Barf! Whoa! Holy crap! Pops, you're way stronger than you look! Yes, if only we'd known that sooner, you could have joined the battle party. Nah, the old guard's supposed to train the heroes, not show them up. Come on, you know how it works. Damn! All right, have it your way. Don't you dare underestimate me just because I'm a woman. Yeah. Sight! Ah! Sis, leave these jerks to me. You two need to go. And you better come back safely. No injuries allowed. Don't worry about us, we'll be okay. I, well, let's just say I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Tricks? Just go, seriously. Go. Go and become a part of Akiba Legend! Good luck!
luck? Frozen one, I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs>